Charlotte remains one of the hottest markets in the country, but consider this. Hundreds of people are filing complaints every year in North Carolina, accusing real estate agents of misrepresenting critical details of the homes that they are selling. A WCNC Charlotte viewer alerted us to this problem after we exposed how a tax office overcalculated a retired couple square footage, and that forced them to unknowingly pay too much in property taxes for years. Tonight in our latest Where's the Money investigation, WCNC Charlotte's Nate Morabito discovered people are calling out real estate agents for the same thing. Oh, she'll be scared. Rocky River Plantation. It's okay. Has a new neighbor. This is Toby. But if Lenny DeVito. He's about four months old. Had his way, his daughter would now live in his Harrisburg neighborhood too. She would have been up the street. The dad and grandpa wanted to buy this nearby house and fix it up. So his daughter's family could move in. It's unfair. I mean... <sighs> Instead, he says the actions of the broker who sold the home. We talked to her and numerous neighbors talked to her and told her the square footage was way off by almost 250 square feet. Essentially priced him out of the market. I wasn't going to put a bid on a house that's way overpriced because of the high square footage. Having spent time inside the house before, DeVito says he knew the selling agent listed the wrong square footage. I think it was 1756 she put it up for initially. The home sold to an investment company in July 2023, a firm that renovated and then asked the same real estate agent to relist the property in September, again with the wrong square footage. Angry, DeVito filed a formal complaint with the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. The public needs to know. It's all about um, the public and wanting to protect the public. Janet Thorin is legal counsel for the state agency in charge of real estate oversight. It is important that if a broker is going to advertise the square footage, that they be accurate. She says the state has clear guidelines for square footage. For one, sellers should not rely on tax records because they are often unreliable. Thorin estimates almost half of the 1,900 complaints the NCREC receives in a year are for misrepresentation, and wrong square footage is often high on the list. She says there are different levels of punishment, depending on the facts of the case, whether it's negligent or intentional, and if it's a repeat violation. If an agent proves to be unreliable or unwilling to improve, then we're going to start looking at um, harsher sanctions. In the case of DeVito's complaint, it's just a shame that the Real Estate Commission won't hold a realtor accountable. The first time he complained, the agency found no wrongdoing, but he's persistent. After pushing back, the state reopened the case and earlier this year concluded the broker twice failed to take sufficient steps to verify the accuracy of the listed measurement. The NCREC closed the case without any disciplinary action but warned her to exercise greater care in future listings. I think it's a slap on the hands. Records list the broker as Ellen Christine Thomas of r &E Venture LLC. We gave her the chance to talk with us on camera about this situation. Instead, she emailed us this statement. Thomas told us she believes the market drove the selling price, not the square footage noting a quick full price offer followed by three upset bids. She also says she measured the home numerous times and adjusted the listing upon her findings, but ended saying, I accept and adhere to the findings of the commission. But it's still like 221 square feet over. DeVito isn't as accepting. He says even when she updated the square footage, she still got it wrong. Yeah, the house is vacant now. The renter just moved out. For him, the end result is all the same. Yeah, it would have been really nice. His daughter and her family. They were disappointed. Now live much farther away. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte. So if you are buying or selling a piece of property and encounter issues with a broker, the North Carolina Real Estate Commission is urging you to file a formal complaint. You see the QR code on your screen. If you can scan that, it'll take you to our article here. There, not only will you find more of our coverage, but also a link where you can fill out the form yourself.